All right, here we go. We have another example. It's a pattern or a sequence, uh, a series of numbers. Um, we're going to look at this one and see if we can kind of go further out than we've gone before. So I picked an easy one. Can you see what it is? What's the pattern here? What's happening? How, how are we getting from, do you know what the next term is? How are we getting from one term to the next? Um, I've kind of identified it and I think it's, we're, we're basically adding two each time, right? So this makes it easy. We've got four terms so far. You say, okay, well, what's the fifth term? Well, I know it's 2 more than 11, it's 13, right? What if I was to ask you what the what's the 48th term? It's a little more difficult, right? So what we want to do is develop an equation where we can just plug in and get the answer real quick because we, we see a pattern. So there must be some kind of way to, to quickly calculate further down that pathway, right? So I'm going to use this. And we're going to start here, right? So we're going to develop this equation together, right? And we are looking for the 48th term. Um, so as I, as I develop my equation, one thing I notice is that I'm moving by 2 each time. So I know I'm going to have multiples of 2, right? Um, the interesting thing, though, is that I don't add my first 2 from 0 to 1, right? So from 5 to 7 is when I add my first 2. So my second term is the first time I've added 2. And something weird, it's a little weird, you've got to wrap your brain around it. We'll walk through it a little bit. Um, so I want to know where am I starting, right? We're starting with 5, right? We didn't start at 0, we started at 5. So here's my starting place, right? We all agree that. We see this 5, we know we're at least at 5, right? So we want to know how do we get to that 48th term, right? Well, we know that things are moving at a multiple of 2, right? So I'm going to assume that it's going to be plus 2, because my 5, plus 2 times how many times have I added 2, right? And that should give me, so my 48th term, a lot of people say, okay, you've added 2 48 times, right? That's not true. We've actually added 2 47 times. And let me explain that again. 5 being my first term, 7 being my second term, 9 being my third term, right? We all agree on this. When I get to my second term, I have added 2 one time. When I get to my third term, I've added to two times. So I actually see another pattern here. When I get to my fourth term, I've now added two three times, right? So I see a pattern there. What it is, sometimes kind of weird to make an expression for that that's always true. But in this case, it's going to be the number term minus one, right? We agree. Every time we go one, two, three, four, we're just one behind it on how many times we've added two, right? So I'm going to say that we need to multiply two times n minus one, right? And so that's real simple. It's a real simple equation here. And now we can plug in any number where n is the, the nth term, right? So now I, to start with, I said 48. So let's go ahead and plug in. I have my starting point, time plus two. Now 48. And I got a minus 1 to compensate for that first term where I did not add 2. And I end up with 5 plus, and then 2 times 47 is going to be 94, and I end up with 99. So interestingly enough, my 48th term in this sequence is 99. Now you could do it for the 5,000th five, 5, term, or the, the 1 millionth term, right? Just a simple computation without having to add 2 that many times.